Jambu, I hope you guys are doing okay. In today's video, I'm sharing another conclusion I made after my visit to Africa, to the Democratic Republic of Congo, where in the past three years I've been traveling annually. In last week's video, I shared my thoughts on old friends we left back home when we moved abroad. In the video before that, I shared my thoughts on the cost of living in the Democratic Republic of Congo. I'll add link to those two videos in the description section. So, the thing I want to talk about today in this video is finding work or working once we go back home or maybe when we just visit, we just decide to go over there and spend some time uh, in our motherland in our home countries so based on my experiences it will be very difficult for us once we moved back home to find a, a work i know personally two people who have found a work back home in the democratic republic of congo so one was just after their studies they went to Congo and they search for job at some point they were able to find job that's one case the other case is someone who spotted a job opportunity online while they were still here in the diaspora they applied for it and they got it so they were uh, employed as a exp expat expatriates now imagine how many of us will live in the diaspora and how many of us will be able to go there apply for work and we get it or you spot a job online you apply for it and you are hired as an expert so what do i mean by it will be difficult for us to find the work i'm talking about work in the classical sense so I'm not talking about uh, being an entrepreneur being a freelancer i'm talking about um, getting hired uh, finding a job where you'll be working at the end of each month you get paid a, a salary that's what i'm talking about actually i remember saying in last week's video that during my time in congo i was working I had opportunities to work. Um, that is true, however, what really happened is that I kind of created those jobs and I took them over to Congo. In 2021 and in 2022, I was conducting my artistic uh, research and development project and it's as part of this project I was working in Congo. In 2023, last year, again, when I was working in Congo for a arts and cultural organization that contracted me to produce an exhibition for them, uh, again, we kind of created that job, that exhibition. Then we took it over to Kinshasa where I produced it. I was the creative producer for that exhibition. So that's what I was talking about when I said I had opportunities to work in Congo. I was working back home during my visit. I work in the cultural se sector and I work as a freelancer. So basically, I work myself since I am an artist, a creative a person. I create my own projects, my own work. But uh, in parallel to that, I also sometimes get contracted by art and cultural organizations or individuals, other creatives, other artists to work for them, to deliver a specific uh, job for them. So if I was hired in Congo today, I will be paid between 400 American dollars and 500 American dollars. Now, go back to that video about the cost of living in Congo. A simple house in an average uh, area uh, will cost starting from 150 American dollars up to 350, 400. Anyway, let's say I'm in the middle. Let's say I rent a, an accommodation for 200 or 250 American dollars. Already half of my salary uh, will go just to, to the accommodation. Then if I'm working 28 uh, days per month, because uh, daily I'll be spending around 
uh, three, four, five American dollars on transport, public transport. Again, it's like um, around hundred uh, American dollars will go to transport. I'm left with how much? That's the reason why I'm saying, even if you get hired, the salary you'll be paid won't be able really to to cover for your expenses. At the end of uh, this series of videos, I'll try to again share my thoughts on what could be the solutions or the approaches to all these challenges I experienced when I was visiting uh, the Congo. So I think you've started uh, understanding that in terms of finding work back home, uh, working when we go back to our countries, maybe the approach will be to be self-employed, freelancer, or entrepreneur in general. That will be one of the approaches. Feel free to share other ideas about how we might uh, find a solution to this challenge of not finding work when we go back home or we find work which don't pay correctly and so on. Until next time, kwaheri, au revoir, goodbye.